Today we're doing hands and knees breathing and we're going to continue on with the balloons. So if you haven't seen last week's video about breathing and balloons, check that out before trying these. You want to make sure that your breathing system is working optimally before you throw a balloon at it. So last week's video was all about breathing and optimal breathing patterns. Also, if you're working on healing a diastasis or um, a pelvic organ prolapse, the balloons probably aren't a great idea for you right out of the gate. So make sure you've got your breathing and your pressure system working correctly, and then the balloons can be a great add-on. Um, all right, so hands and knees breathing. You are going to set up, set yourself up on your hands and your knees. Hands go directly under your shoulders, knees right under your hips. From here, you're going to drop your tailbone slightly, engage your lower abs, and round your back. Extend your head, tuck your chin so your neck is nice and long. And I want you to push your hands into the floor, really activate your arms. No, so no, no hanging here. Push up, drop your tailbone, activate. Inhale back and sides expand, exhale, from the bottom up. So again, it's inhale, back and sides expand, exhale from your core. So at, on the inhale, you're looking for expansion here. The exhale, you're looking for things to contract up, and in. And adding the balloon is just going to make you have to contract a little bit stronger. Um, so all I'm using is a plain old regular balloon. You can grab a pack of balloons at Walmart. Um, there's nothing special. And you set it up. Inhale. And that's it. Um, so a little trick with the balloon, the first time you try it, it's probably going to be much harder than you expect it will be. Um, you might want to blow it up once or twice before you try doing it with the exercise. That will make the, give the balloon a little more give, make it a little easier to get started. A um, Couple things to look, look for when you're doing this one. On the inhale or the exhale, watch that you're not shifting forward or back. And out, as you inhale and round, watch that when you exhale, you don't sink. So it's inhale, hold that, exhale, contract with your abs. Okay, try those out. Um, I hope you like them, and I will have lots more variations on that one in the next few weeks. Bye, guys.